Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us in St. Lucia as we board a catamaran for the first time. Yeah, an all day excursion. We're gonna go see some sights, drink some punch. And, and go eat swimming. Some food. Oh, and go swimming. And That's eat. true. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's another early, early morning here in St. Lucia. Lucia for the first time. Um, we have a catamaran that is going to take us around for about six hours. Yeah. Probably do some swimming, do some learning, and do some eating. I'm just excited. Maybe it'll be a relaxing day. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are going to go to the breakfast buffet once again. Um, I was just saying to Rachel, I'm getting a little tired of it. Day yeah. seven, I'm... That's I wish we had something else. But. Good thing today's the last day. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll go grab some food, change our towels out, and then head to the theater. By the way, if you are watching this and you've been watching this entire series, we just want to say thank you too. Um, if you have, please go ahead and leave a comment down below with your favorite scene from this series or <laughs> favorite thing that we did during this one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So one really cool thing we already saw when we were coming in, um, right out here, this is the airport. We were kind of hoping that a plane would be taken off or landing at the time when we were going on, going past it, but we did not. Um, and then we saw there's a St. Lucia sign right there, so you can easily get to one. Um, initially I was like, man, this port is super industrial, but. Look at the cool boats over there. Yeah, seeing that marina, that helps you to start feeling like it's the tropics again. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. So we found this area, it seems pretty secluded, yeah, just outside the solarium, um, and we're checking out, it looks like this port is quite developed, tons of shops, and there's a restaurant over there, yep, definitely ready for tours. This is better than what I thought it was going to be, because I literally thought we were going to park next to the crane. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll get to this sign, I bet. Again though, the cool part is, is that you're sitting, like, <clears throat> look how far your walk is. Oh yeah, <laughs> our walk is maybe a couple driveways width maybe. wide. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and some of those ports get so long on their piers that, but you have those big ships, you have to, so that makes sense for this smaller one. Yeah, that, that definitely is. That small too. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, no way you could fit some of those big ones in that spot. But yeah, that's definitely one of the biggest takeaways for sure about this trip is um, you get into these tiny ports, there's only one boat access yeah. and it's easy access it's to the port. Looks like we are walking up to our ship. Man, this looks beautiful. Never been on a catamaran before.
All right, we are coming up on our first beach stop. Uh, this is called Pigeon Point. It is on the northern part of the west coast. Gonna do some beaching. All right, correction, this is Pigeon Island. We are gonna have 45 minutes to swim. Uh, otherwise, people can, I think, hike or eat at a restaurant over here. Um, they said chairs are three US dollars. We're probably going to just get in the water, so no need for a chair. All right, this is beach number two. And I'm assuming that's beach number one right over there. This is a beautiful. Yeah, they did say that the hike is up over there. I'm assuming it's that little fort up on the other side of the boat. Yeah. What do you think? I think this is awesome. Yeah, this is really pretty. Looks like the uh, boat bar came by. <laughs> you can hear him jamming. And he's, uh, I can see coolers in there, so might have to buy us a rum punch or something. Hey there. Hi. All right, first time in the water in St. Lucia. Oh my gosh. It feels so good. The sand is perfect. Oh, I gotta go empty my pockets. Oh. <laughs> Check this. All right, pockets emptied. Oh, wait. Good call. All right, pockets are emptied. Ready to go in the water now. Good call. <laughs> oh. It's so clear, it's so cool. Oh. So the the guide on the boat did say that this spot is not great for snorkeling. Oh my god, it's cold. <laughs> How are you doing there? Good, good, good. <laughs> oh god, I think you just gotta get in. Oh god, it's so cold. <sighs> it gets deep quick. <laughs> he said come closer to the boat so we can buy rum punch from him. I'm already not touching. Yeah, I know. If you're not, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it gets deep very quick. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it is refreshing though. I'm on my, well, until the tide comes in a little bit. I was on my tiptoes for a minute. Yeah, depending on where the tide's at. I'm in a good spot or a terrible spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do like the options. Like you can go for a hike if you want. You can. Right. Go and sit at a restaurant. Or you can be on the beach. Swimming. Yeah, over there is a green rooftop building. Yeah. Apparently that's a restaurant. So you could just eat. But we had big breakfast this morning. We've kind of needed to have big breakfast throughout this trip because we've been busy every day. Agreed. And unfortunately, it's been it's been harder to find um, food in some of the other ports, at least. Yeah. Um, this one looked like you might be able to, and yesterday in Dominica we could. Yeah, this one actually. Dominica. Right now, initially, it looks like the most commercialized. Yeah. But we will see. We're just gonna chill in the water. Should have known we'd get broken down by his good salesmanship. We made it about 20 minutes without buying a drink. Here we go. You knew we couldn't pass up on some rum punch. And here is our return to the next destination, right? Let's go. <laughs> All right, after 45 minutes, we are taking off. 
and we're gonna ride along the western coast and then we should see the pitons which are the mountain peaks here um, I do believe that this was close to the Sandals Resort if you're trying to figure out where this area is at but it was beautiful swimming we're ready for some sailing So we did just hear they are going to be feeding us on the boat. It's going to be a buffet style. Sounds like some chicken, some spaghetti, fish, rice, fish, rice yep. Um, and then they'll be serving us. We are actually just about to the point where the boat or the cruise ship is. So this is about where we started, right? Yeah, this is about where we started. So we went to the north side of the western side and now we're headed to the south. So we'll be eating before our next beach and just cruising along the water. All right, so this is a massive plate of food. Um, and it's got quite the view too, by the way. Uh, view for one tall week. Yep, fish, uh, potatoes, chicken, spaghetti, rice, salad. <laughs> it's hard to beat. This actually looks good. How it, how's it taste? The potatoes all I've had so far and it's really good. All right. All right, we are getting ready to uh, get off for our second swim spot. It is a black sand beach. Very excited for this. And they said this is a great spot for snorkeling or scuba. And we've been going for a while, probably almost like an hour. Oh, we got to end up on a 10 15. Oh yeah, so hour, hour and a half. Closer to an hour and a half we've been riding. Um, you know, we did eat lunch, but it's a ways down here. You're gonna it's definitely. Better than riding a bus. It is better than riding a bus. We've we've had some uh, rough bus journeys um, so far on this trip. If you want to see those, go check the other videos. So this is much more peaceful and calm. All right, we are going snorkeling. We just go right into the water.
too rough for us to actually land over on that black sand beach over there. Um, it looks like it would have been pretty, but we only have 30 minutes to swim, and the, this current is a beast. Um, not the greatest of snorkeling, but it's still swimming. just saw the pitons we are turned around and headed back we have had a couple rum punches already and the seas are rocking my goodness but it is beautiful weather I saw the fin before when we were passing and I was like what is that yeah but now when I saw the fin again yeah it was oh there we go yes ourselves thoroughly we have this is an amazing way to get around and see a couple different spots on the island yes um, so much better than being stuck in a bus on the final day I'm very happy with this choice and they fed us they gave us rum punch and it's not just one rum punch no this is our third we've seen some people with at least five yes Good. so, you so can there you go going back. Yeah, so when you're looking at the price, take into account the drinks and the lunch. Because that's stuff that you could have easily spent like 10 to $20 per person. And not just rum punch, water, Coke, Sprite, yep. fruit punch I think we had. And you're just basking in the sun. Love it. Love it. Alright, so we're having to walk through the uh, port area to get back to the ship so we can drop off our bags, put some tennis shoes on, but um, I will say uh, there's no air movement and it's about as hot as the earth gets <laughs> right in this area, but you can do some shopping. <laughs> it feels that way. <laughs> Um, chances are we just come out and grab some drinks. We might do some shopping. We'll see. All right, this is the first time we've seen almost nobody at a one of these signs. And we just found so, a craft beer place. We did craft beer right outside the port. I gotta go back. Um, so let's go ahead and snap a picture of this beautiful sign, and then off we will go. Make it last forever. I will say 
This is the first time in six cruises um, since the restart where we've actually seen where Royal Caribbean offers the water. Um, I know I've seen it where Celebrity towels. does. Oh yeah, and they have towels in the theater. So it's actually, I don't know if, if the others are gonna start doing that, but it's really nice that this one does. Headed back into the port. So we were talking with a lady from Barbados on her very first cruise. And one of the things that was funny that we talked about was how many um, jewelry stores happen to be in the port areas. I don't understand it. Like they think that all these cruise people just come off the ship to buy jewelry. But who really does that? If you do, leave a comment down below and say, I love the jewelry stores. Thank God there's... 80% jewelry stores right off the cruise ship. Um, but otherwise, we just want food and drink. <laughs> yes, very true. Food and local beers. Give us local beers, we'll good beer. See? All right, first craft beers of the trip on day seven or eight i don't even know i lost count but this is antila and there is uh two wheat beers they were five dollars us each in a frosted mug oh this is just at the end of the cruise terminal or cruise port area all right we need a little bit of food so pink papaya pizza oh my god all right let's try something all right, end up with a bucket of Piton. Piton, Piton. Bucket is 20 bucks for five beers. And then we got two pizzas coming. Ooh. And we're right at the end of the ship. So we can sit here until six. <laughs> hey, yep, we got plenty of time. We might not need so much food in the main dining room tonight because we ended up with the meat lovers and the Caribbean which has jerk chicken, pineapple, peppers? bell peppers. Yes. So earlier in the video when I was talking about the water, Rachel brought up towels. I was thinking she was talking about beach towels, but she's actually talking about these cold towels, which are so nice when it's so hot. Alright, so uh, last night you lost us as we got on the ship, um, we ended up going to sleep and then if you do not know us, we are avid gamblers and we do take advantage of casino comps. That's how we end up getting most of our cruises, how we get all our rooms in Las Vegas. Yep. And so we actually ended up having to, not having, having to, to. <laughs> we played, we gambled the whole time. We did not go to the main dining room, we did not go to the buffet, we actually just grabbed a couple sandwiches because we were pretty full after the pizza. Yeah, we ate a lot of pizza and drank those five beers and I was full, yep. I was with you. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's talk about favorite moment of St. Lucia. Lucia. I thought it was super fun at that first swimming spot where mm -hmm. um, the little Caribbean guy was selling us <laughs> <laughs> drinks. And, the bar boat. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he played music and it was the whole 45 minutes or so of swimming was really fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I actually wish we could have stayed there longer. I do too. Um, I would say the same. It, it was just a blast being able to, you know, get on a catamaran. We've never done it before. Yeah. And and getting in the water the first time I thought was great. Yeah. Um, favorite bite of yesterday? I'm going to have to go with the pizza. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. Okay. I'm actually changing it up. 
which is weird because it was a free meal or included meal with the catamaran. Yeah. The chicken, it was so tender and it had this really good barbecue sauce on it. Yeah, and so, I, mm. I agree. I, I would go with the chicken as well. Um, and I liked, they had like some spicy sauce. I put that on mine. Pepper. As, yes. <laughs> Do you like pepper? <laughs> um, yeah, I, overall I thought it was a great day. Yeah. We are actually sitting in the um, theater waiting to get off the ship though right now. Um, yes. Figure. Let's let's give some takeaways as far as um, this. I think one of the biggest things is the itinerary is intense, oh, like so intense. super intense. Yeah. And the thing about it is that a lot of these ports are not common, mm -hmm. and you really see that when you get off the ship and you get into the town. You know, you're you're talking about grocery stores and regular stores, businesses, mm -hmm. not not tourist attractions. Other no. than like St. Lucia yesterday, that was a rarity yeah. in this trip. Agreed. Um, the other is, it, it's hot. It's, the sun hits I mean, different down here. I mean, we you know it's going to be hot when you go to the Caribbean, or you hope it is, right? Yeah. Um, but the sun really hit our skin a bit more than we expected. I told Josh it's. I think I'm allergic to sunscreen, which is not true because I usually just don't wear sunscreen, but I'm telling you, I'm beat up. Like, yeah. And I'm enjoying it and it's one of those like, yes, I get to leave and know I was on vacation. But and you man, wore my skin more is beat sunscreen up. than ever. I've never worn that much, much sunscreen in my life. Yep, and we still <laughs> and I still took a hit. have, yeah, um, sore spots. I think the other thing for me was that this cruise ship surprised me. I really enjoyed a small cruise ship for an intense itinerary like this. Yeah. Um, I think if you're, if we had been on one of the larger ships, I would feel like I'm missing out on the ship. Whereas this, it was the perfect vessel. Yeah. Literal vessel to take us from country to country, provide us the food that we needed, drink, and yep. entertainment. I agree, and I will just say we did have an ocean view stateroom. If you're on Rhapsody of the Seas, two five one zero is not. The best room no it's extremely it's so loud, loud. Um, um and i think it's truly because of the docking and like i think we said it earlier there's something with i don't know if it's like propulsion yeah. or the the anchor or all of it together it was just way loud. too much so you know when you're when you have early morning like even if you didn't do an excursion like we did um you're gonna be waking up because it's very loud and annoying and it <laughs> rocks your area yeah um that was tough I would say though, the other nice part, and I, I think this goes back to the ship size, is even though we went to the casino um, a couple nights and we missed a show, like last night, I think there was a farewell, uh -huh. farewell show. Variety show. It didn't feel like we were missing anything mm -hmm. because the shows weren't extremely it, above it, and beyond, I Yeah, guess. it wasn't your major productions, like yeah. you're gonna get in the Oasis class where you have the Broadway show, where you have the Aqua Theater. Yeah. Um, you These know, are simple shows, so if you miss one, you miss one. So if you truly go and take a nap, you go and take a nap. Right. <laughs> it's fine. Um, the other thing I want to say about the cruise that was very awesome was the chef's table. Oh, so glad that we did that. Me too. Um, 100%. We were shocked that it, it took us three and a half hours. It was our yeah. full entertainment for the night right there. And yeah. it was a blast because we had a good group of couples in there with us. The food was awesome. Um, what would you say was your favorite port? Favorite port? I thought St. Lucia was beautiful and I thought it was perfect for us. I loved the catamaran piece for our excursion, but then at the port, there seemed to be a lot to do and see sure. without having to leave too far. My favorite excursion, Tito Gorge excursion. I was gonna say, mm -hmm. I think Dominica, Dominica and St. Lucia were the standouts for me as yeah. well. Um, Tito Gorge, amazing. The hot springs were good, but you just not need needed to go to gorge. the yeah. gorge was by far the best and I, I enjoyed that you had a lot of the regular culture yeah. um, business pieces um, the the constant flow of people in Dominico but you also had some fairly touristy stuff yeah um, st. Lucia being on the catamaran was awesome never done it before mm -hmm. um, you know who knew that we were gonna spend four and a half hours just going around and then about an hour hour and a half swimming yeah so it it was a blast it was awesome and again it goes back to the small part of the ship it makes it a little bit fun you see a lot of the same people around the ship so yeah. you actually can say hello and we did the my time dining so when we did eat in the main dining room 
you were by yourselves. We didn't have to share a table. Right. But you do get to know the people next to you a little bit, and you still see them throughout the ship, as Josh said, with Chef's Table. Um, the group was very awesome, and we saw a couple of those couples throughout the um, ship as well. Just kind of makes it a little bit more homey mm -hmm. or intimate, I guess. It was I, really cool. I did want to give a quick shout out to Maracas Beach in Trinidad. Yeah. Um, I had a blast there. The <laughs> food was great. The beer was great. The waves were so fun. Yeah, we did. Um, I think we had fun at every single port. Yes. It was awesome. And I, yeah, I would say this was an awesome trip. The tough thing is definitely getting here. Um, I'm getting home. <laughs> yep. And so, you know, you're going to have a limited number of flights. You're going to have probably an uptick in price for your flight. Yeah. But it was worthwhile, I highly recommend it. We met a lot of people that this was their first cruise and that is exciting to me mm -hmm. too. And they said, I can see why you guys are hooked. This yep. is this is it. And it, this is a port intensive itinerary. I did, I do have to say I kind of missed a sea day to kind of chill out and relax. Yeah. But to get that many countries in such a short amount of time with honestly that much sun, that's why we love cruising in the Caribbean in the first place is for the sun and that's why we love cruising for the itineraries and getting so many ports so that's it I all think. right if you're enjoying our videos don't forget to hit that like and subscribe you can also follow us on social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all our links are down below thank you